How many spoonfuls of honey do I like in my tea? <coughs> Three. Exactly. Now you'll know for next time. Psst. Jeanette, we're on the air. What? We are on the air. Oh. So, Barry, how did it feel to defeat the humans? Well, I didn't defeat the humans. What did I really do? Well, I won a small legal victory against them, resulting in a multi-billion dollar judgment bankrupting their honey industry and restoring bees to their rightful place at the top of the honey chain. Interesting. Let me throw the question open. Adam, how did it feel? Um, hello? Hi, pal. Adam, how did it feel to go up against Mr. Montgomery? Uh, awkward. I have to go now. Okay. So, Barry, any regrets? Well, aside from winning the case and nearly destroying the Earth, uh, not that I can think of, no. But, you know, it didn't stop there. Afterwards, there was a whole media frenzy thing, and that was tough. Well, Barry, it takes a certain kind of person to deal with fame and the demands of the media. The struggles of on-camera life, the constant interviews, the need to always look absolutely stunning. Oh, it takes a lot out of you. Uh, actually, I was just talking about the... You know, let me just show you. Come on, all the way in, and we're flying, we're flying. So, tell us more, Barry. Yeah, Barry, tell us how you felt during the trial. What? Oh, sure. Ladies and drones of the press, this, in the human world, is a court of law. And in this court, all beings are created equal and entitled to be heard. And that's exactly what I did. I stood right here and calmly, eloquently presented our case. Your Honor, I object on account that Mr. Benson is a no-good, a no-account insect who sought to dig up all sorts of so-called evidence and put to harm and ruin all of the plans for domination which I so craftily formulated and handed down, not to mention making a mockery of this court and our sacred judicial system. I therefore move for a mistrial. You can't move for a mistrial. We won fair and square. Besides, the court's not in session. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Any calm and eloquent last words now, Benson? Yes. Run! I mean, fly! I hold you all in contempt. You ruin my plans for world domination, Barry. Good. Give up? You're going down, Monty.
All you had to do was just go away. And I would have been ah! rich! Rich! Nice try. Give up? Better luck next time. <laughs> Guys, little help here! Too bad the scales of justice aren't in your favor this time, B. Guys, come on, we're all in this together. If we let this guy win, what does that say about us as a species? Are we bees or are we keychains? Keychains! No, we're bees. Hey, he's right. We are bees. Right. Come on! Let's get him. Except you, keychain guy. Nice try. Nice try. It started with honey, but it nearly wiped out the entire world. Could it happen again? The answer might shock you. Watch as I wrap up the fascinating interview with Barry B. Benson tonight 
I am Jeanette Chung. Hi, Barry. Listen, my producer insists that I ask you this silly question. I apologize in advance, but don't worry, it's a softball. I'm here to answer any and all questions, Jeanette. Fire away. Good. Were you aware of the delicate balance in the ecosystem between bees, flowers, and humans when you went on your selfish, foolhardy crusade? <laughs> wow, you're not kidding around, are you? Okay, so I made a few mistakes. But there is a bright side, you know. Oh? How so, Mr. Doom? Well, I think every bee learned how important they are, not just to the hive, but to the world around us. The truth is, from pollen jock to factory drone, every bee is a queen. I mean, not like... I mean, you know what I mean. We're, we're all uh, special. I see. So with the honey case wrapped up, the conspiracy foiled, Montgomery brought to justice and the world restored, what's next for Barry B. Benson? You know what I meant before, right? I mean, I, I wasn't saying that I could be the queen. I got it. So what's next? Maybe acting? Nah, I'm not much of an actor. I mean, I'm good with a funny line, but I, I don't think I could play real emotion. Any last words for the audience, Barry? <laughs> Just that this has all really been an adventure for me, and... It's what I wish for everyone, be your human. May your life always be an adventure. A wish for adventure from a bee who's had quite an adventure himself. We'll now take you out live with Barry and the Pollen Jocks restoring the world. What? Live? That's amazing. Oh, wait, this is where we do the reenactment, isn't it? You're catching on. So much for the magic of television. You've been watching New Hive Tonight. You could have wrapped it up by singing on a piano. to save these flowers. I may have made a mistake, but now I'm going to fix it, even if I have to pollinate every flower in this park by myself. Now who's with me? We are! Let's do it!
Thanks, team. Add one more to the countdown next time, Hal. I need 11, understand? And Sally, it's two honeys in my latte, sweetie. And anyone else I don't fire tonight, I'll see you bright and early. Ta-ta! It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? <laughs> There's kill bees! How would you like his big hairy head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Rawr! Rawr! Okay, that's enough. Take him away. <laughs> <laughs>